اونجان رو نو نو با دو دوزه یاسه که دیده یاسه که دیده یاسه که دیده This is police work, of course. The situation in the premises of INEC in Port Harcourt is that some officials are alleging what they call a siege by suspected military officers. Uh, this comes as a scuffle ensued between police officers and military officers at the gates of the electoral body over issues of permission of entrance. We spoke to an official of INEC and he had this reaction. Well, uh, since yesterday till now after the election, uh, in fact, throughout the elections we had um, so many uh, reports of insecurity, molestation, harassment, uh, assault on our staff and uh, ad hoc staff, and uh, disruption of the uh, electoral process throughout the, um, the state, all the local government areas with the consequence that by yesterday evening we were unable to get any results. And um, by now, we are talking at, it's about 1, 1 p.m. now, the office is under siege by men in uh, military uniform, uh, army uniform, and uh, uh, uniforms of the Air Force and the police who have uh, taken over the uh, INET uh, office and they are stopping and screening people and uh, clearing results before they enter the office to the extent that up to now no uh, collation has been done. So that's the situation now. We don't understand uh, where the people are deployed from. We, don't, we are not accusing the Nigerian Army or Air Force, but what we say is the people in the office here right now are wearing uniforms of the Army and the Air Force. So if they are not from them, we are calling on them to come and rectify the situation and allow our officers uh, to enter with their results without molestation and harassment. For now, everyone is keeping a close watch at the development of events over what many have described as coalition drama trending in rivers. Emmanuel Iri, Channels Television News.